Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how I create this animation loop with this cute uh, little duck. In the last video I show you how I made a design and in this video I'm going to show you how we animate characters in pixel art style. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do when you want to do animation of anything, and it doesn't matter which kind of animation it is. It could be some guys that jump from mountain and it could be like a rabbit that uh, eat carrot. It doesn't matter. When you want to animate something, we have to do some research, okay? It's not have to be a big research. We don't have to learn the three years about the, the subject and, and write everything on papers, but we need to take a couple of hours. We need to learn something about the subject. Because I don't have ducks around, I need to figure it out how they move actually. So I do the the basic thing that I think every child you do is just go to the YouTube and so I look on the uh, cartoon videos and I look on real videos and the one thing that I learn that I learn about ducks when they move all and all their body is just like move from right to left like a, a very cute ball and and this is something that I think that. I will never know if I don't do uh, this research. When you do some animation, just give the time to this and don't be hurried to run to the software that you use and, and start to animate everything, okay? Just be patient. I know you don't like this world, but you have to be patient, okay? And, and, and this is like a good example. Why? Because this is an exaggeration that I figured it out that the ducks is just move from left to right. Well, we can see uh, another different kind of ducks. There is not just one of them. This is actually my 2D version that I made um, before uh, two years or something like this. And you can see in this example how I use the body that move from right to left and actually bring it to life in, in this character. I'm going to show you now the pixel version, but this is the same method, okay? So after we do a good research and and I'm sure that you'll be a good student and listen to what I say. Only now we get inside a sprite, but like I told you before, it doesn't matter which software that you use because the method is the same. As an animator, I think uh, uh, this book that called the uh, Survival Kit that a lot of animators know, uh, this is something that helped me a lot in, in, in my way. If you know the 12 principle of animation, if you know it well, you can actually bring character to life and, and it's really look great okay so in this book richard williams is speak about the method that when you want to animate something you have to start with the main pose the same thing that i use in my ducks okay like you can see in in the first picture we have the contact and and his leg is touching on the ground okay and this is the the same thing that i created here okay now in the second pose I can see its whole body, first of all, just going down a little bit. Okay, like if I move between them, we can see his whole body is just go down. He's prepare his body to do the next step. Another thing that can help us if we can just film ourselves, do something and then look on that as, and see how it's look like. I know it's embarrassed, but this is can help, help you to improve your animation skills. And I can see also the right leg is still on the ground, but the left leg is just almost leave the ground. Okay, and this is something that I wanted to, I want to do also in my animation. Okay, and look, it's already start to look like something good. This this duck is so cute. I'm telling you guys. Now in the other frame, I can see my duck is go up. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is just bring his own body up again. And of course, fi fix his leg. So now we already can see that his left foot is now in the air. He's going to bring this leg to the front and then he's replaced between these two legs and do the same, okay? Of course, we need, we need to remember that we have also the hands and, and the head that we're going to speak about this a little bit later. But you have to remember his whole weight is coming from the body, okay? In, in this example. The first thing that I want to carry is the body, okay? Then I will add the leg and the hands and, and the head. So let's continue, okay? So in the next step, I can see he's bringing his legs a little bit up and saturate, saturate. And when I finish, we can see we have this look. 
actually we can see in this example we just need like five frames to do it but if we have a guy that we can see the difference between his leg we need to add extra frame to the opposite leg okay because we need first of all the right leg and then the left leg this is just example to one side that change another thing that i made in this animation you can call it like a bonus lesson i create overlap what is actually overlap when you move some object and another thing connect to this object it will move a little bit in delay from the the main object we can see a great example here from this uh, website that's called creatively school this rabbit is move his head front and only after one or two frames we can see the ears is coming but this is make the, the character more organic more natural touch okay if we don't have this if everything is moved in the same time it will feel like a robot his whole body is moving together like he's combined if we start to be flexibility then it gives us more organic feel this is the same thing that I did with his hair, okay? Something with his hair, it will be like more organic and I didn't want that all the body is moved together with all his limbs. We can see in the first frame the hair is, the hair is up and then he stay a little bit on the top, just one frame. Like I said, I want to, cr to create a overlaps and only then he's going down, okay? Also here between frame 3 and frame 4 is all bodies go up the only thing that's left behind it's you guess right it's you no i'm joking it's the hair okay you can see the hair here and then only in the next frame is go up a little bit and such a and such a when you play everything together we can feel his hair is go up and down and this is the small touch that, that give the duck the organic feel. So remember the thing that we, we're talking about. The first thing we have to do some research. We have to look in forward about reference and videos and everything that we can learn from it. Only then go inside to the software. We need to work with the main pose, with the key pose actually. And of course, don't forget you can add an extra frames and make his animation more smooth. This is something that you need to decide by, by yourself which style you want for your character and it's only one or two basic things from the principle of animation we actually have 12 please let me know what you think about my animation and if you think i can improve it don't forget subscribe my channel and come visit us in the discord channel bye guys